I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on finding tangents when a point is given and equation of a curve is given. The question here is find equation of the tangent lines to the parabola y equals to x square plus x that pass through the point 2 minus 3. Sketch the curve and the tangents. Now I like you to look into this question carefully it says equation of tangent lines now that means we might have more than one tangent right sketch the curve and the tangents more than one tangent is possible if we are taking external point so that is a very key uh, question to address okay so what I'm trying to say is that the point which we are given as 2 comma 3 rather minus 3 is not on the curve let's check if I substitute 2 for x what do I get so what is y equals to if I substitute 2 I get 2 square plus 2 which is 4 plus 2 which is 6 so the value of y is 6 and not minus 3 so therefore the point 2 minus 3 is an external point so you get the idea so what I'm trying to say here is that in our given scenario If we have a parabola which is given by this equation, the x intercepts being clearly at uh, 0 and uh, minus 1, right? So, so the parabola will be kind of like this. In that case, the point given to us, which is 2 minus 3, is somewhere here. It's somewhere here. So, we're looking for a tangent which will be kind of like this. You understand? We are given a point here. So we have two tangents. So I hope this point is very clear. So what we are given here is a point P which is 2 minus 3. So it is an external point. So we really don't know where on this curve we are going to get the tangent. So what we will do here is to assume this point to be at x equals to a, right? So, so we are saying here is let point on the curve be, if x value is a, then the y value will be a square plus a. You get the idea, right? Since the equation is y equals to, since y equals to x square plus x you get this part right so this is a very important part to understand before even we begin our solution okay now let's look into our solution and see how to find the solution okay so we could find slope of this equation which is y equals to x square plus x by finding derivative so if I differentiate with respect to x, I get dy dx, let me write y dash, equals to 2x plus 1. So that's the derivative. We'll call this as our equation number 1. We could also find derivative using slope intercept. So we can say y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 is also slope. So we have two points, one point P, and let this be the point Q. So, so the slope between the point P and Q will be y values are a square plus a minus 3, so that is plus 3, divided by the x values a minus 2, a minus 2. So that becomes the slope and this slope we are saying equation 2 now since this is a general slope so from equation 1 at 
x equals to a, the slope is going to be 2a plus 1, correct? Let's call this equation 3. So these two equations should be same, right? Since the slope is same, So what we have here is that the m is equals to y dash at x equals to a, right? So with that condition, we can find what point a is. So we'll now equate 3 and 2. So we get a square plus a plus 3 equals to a minus 2. I mean, well, just, okay, let me write like this. Divide by a minus 2 equals to 2a plus 1. So 2 equals to 3, right? So we are saying we are equating equation 2 equals to equation 3. This is what we are doing. Now to solve it, let's cross multiply. So, so we get a square plus a plus 3 equals to a minus 2 times 2a plus 1. Let's expand. a square plus a plus 3 equals to, when you expand this, you get 2a square plus a minus 4a minus 2. Now bring all the terms together to find a. So we have uh, 0 equals, let's bring all the terms to the right side. So 2a square minus a square. Then we have plus a minus 4a. We'll take away this a. And then we have minus 2 minus 3, right? So we have 0 equals 2, 2a square minus a square is a square. Then we have a minus 4a minus a gives us minus 4a. Minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. This could be factored a minus 5 times a plus 1. So that gives you two solutions that a could be equal to 5 or a equals to minus 1. Correct? So we have two points where a could be equal to minus 1. So let's say this is a minus 1. So somewhere there, we'll have uh, a equals to 5. That means the x value. Is it OK? So we have two points. Now let's find the equation of these two tangents. Now we'll take it to the next page with a equals to 5 and minus 1. So we have two points. One is for a equals to 5, and the other one, a equals to minus 1. So the equation is y equals to x squared plus x. So if I substitute a equals to 5, what do I get? So if I substitute a equals to 5, I get y equals to 5 squared plus 5, which is 25 plus 5 is 30. So the coordinate points are 5 and 30. If I substitute minus 1, then I get the y value as minus 1 square plus minus 1, which is, uh, so for minus 1 square is positive 1, and uh, x means minus 1, I get 0. So in that case, my coordinate point at minus 1 is the y-intercept. So the point here is basically equal to uh, minus 1, 0. Okay? So these are my two points. Now what we need to do is to find equation of tangent lines. Right? So now let's find equation of tangent lines. Well, we also know that for the equation this, the slope is basically 2x plus 1, correct? So for these points, let us also calculate these slopes. So, so slope y dash for x equals to 5 is equals to, let's write 5 here, 2 times 5 plus 1, which is 11. And... Uh, the slope for x equals to minus 1 will be 2 times minus 1 plus 1, which is uh, minus 1, right? So these are the two slopes. 
Now we can find equation of tangent line. So let's take the line which has slope of 11 and the point being 5 and 30. Good. We'll use the equation of the line of the form y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Good. So using this we can find our first equation which will be y minus 30 equals to x minus 5 times slope of 11. Let me write here now. Okay, so we'll open this bracket. So we get y minus 30 equals to 11x minus 55. Bringing all the terms together, we get our equation as, let me push this page a bit. Okay, so we get 11x minus y and uh, we have minus so this gets added up so let me write here minus 55 plus 30 right so that is the first equation equals to 0 so let's rewrite this as 11x minus y and that is minus 25 equals to 0 so that is our first equation for the second equation, we'll use the point with slope minus 1. So, so the second equation, the point given to us is minus 1, 0. So that's the y-intercept. Uh, okay, that's the uh, x-intercept, minus 1, 0. And the slope m is minus 1. So we get y minus 0 equals to slope of minus 1, so let's say minus, times x minus, minus 1, so x plus 1. So we can open this bracket, so we have y equals to minus x minus 1. Bringing all the terms together, we get x plus y plus 1 equals to 0. So these are the two equations. So now we can write down our answer. The equations are 11x minus y minus 25 equals to 0. And the second one is x plus y plus 1 equals to 0. I made a sketch in the previous page. Or oh, let me share that page with you now. Okay, so, so the second point here is uh, for the value of 5 here, 30. Anyway, so here is our sketch you can make a better sketch. So somewhere there we'll have a point which is 530. And this is the point 23 that forms the, you know, when you extend it. And this is the x-intercept at minus 1, correct? You could always write this equation as y equals to x is common and you get x plus 1. So there are two zeros, one at 0, the other one is at minus 1, right? So that's how you get your curve with the tangents from external point. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.